So I have another question, and this is this isn't something I'm expecting you to know, but it's a, it's a curious thing that I have. I'll do my best. <laughs> so at the moment, obviously, some cars have the universal plug to be able to charge them, right? Do you think bikes are going to use the same universal plug? Ideally, yes. Do you think all bikes? I know this is a real. I know we're moving slightly away from ZZI. Do you uh, think all bikes uh, will? Uh, like, actually, like the A1 and the A2 might use a different. Actually, plug. no. I'm going to change my answer. No, I don't think they should. They should use the same plug. Now, the reason why I'm saying that should or would shouldn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't have the same the same socket as cars, as electric cars. Right. The reason for that, my reasoning, I've just worked out right now. How many motorcycles, electric motorcycles, can you fit into one parking bay? Uh, so you put one motorcycle in there. That means that you can only charge one motorcycle or one car. However, what if? the charging stations came with a motorcycle adapter that allowed you to split the connections yeah. to multiple different motorcycles. So, um, so if motorcyclists wanted to use an, an electric charging bay, they could charge their own bike, but they might find other bikes there charging as well. I mean, that's one of the big issues with car charging is that at the moment in public areas, there's hardly any, you know, you, you might be lucky if you find five uh, parking spaces that have charging stations at the, uh, yeah. uh, you know, um, at the moment. At the moment, and then, um, but motorcycles. However, you could, I mean, you could do it two ways. You could either have designated motorcycle parking for motorcycle charging, or you could bundle bundle them together. But obviously, you'd be able to fit a load of bikes into a single bay. I mean, imagine if you're on a on a ride with your buddies you know, three or four buddies, you'd be able to fit all your bikes into one parking bay to charge them up. It's almost like you could have like uh, a wall of parking, or like a wall of charging. Of chargers, yeah. Little slots for bikes yeah. to go in and like almost like petrol pump things. Yeah. You pull it out. Yeah, and, yeah that's but, it. Yeah. Um, no, I was just curious as to, I mean, I have another question and I'm sorry I am deviating slightly here, but it's just popped into my head. If I don't ask it now, I'm going to forget. <laughs> that's okay. How easy do you think it's going to be to nick an electric bike if it's just charging? Um, I don't. I no. I, I think it'll be hard. You think it'll be hard. Yeah. I think it'll be like a, a battery, like a kill button for the battery. Oh, well, absolutely. Yeah, or... you will still have like a key fob, or you'll still have a key, a physical key mm. that you need to put into the bike to to, to unlock it, to start it up, okay. and all that. I mean, I don't actually know how electric bikes start up. Uh, Tesla obviously have the whole phone system, which, by the way, can be hacked. So uh, there, there are like um, weaknesses. There, there are there are security flaws in using a mobile phone app because it uses, I think, Bluetooth radio waves, and you can intercept those Bluetooth radio waves quite easily, and, and then them, and right? redirect them and things. Yeah. So, um, or, or yeah. So, but I, I don't I don't know. I mean, I think that's probably something they're working on. But yeah, it could be you could unlock your or yeah unlock your your motorcycle using your phone or something like that. I imagine at some point.